I am staggered by what I've seen in Victoria over the weekend. The Premier spearing a group of women as Nazis because of what a bunch of idiot men did. And the Liberals, I mean, how gutless is their leader? You may have seen him on Peter's show, <laughs> seriously. How gutless to now want to sack one of those women as a Liberal MP. And to do that by quoting a Wikipedia entry that I can guarantee you is false. Some research. Women, if you want to see how men silence women, just look at Woke Victoria. Now, this fast started on Saturday when a bunch of women, uh, some with husbands for protection, good move, went to the Parliament House steps to hear other women speak against transgender women, born male, being treated as women in sports competitions and women's spaces. Now, agree with them or not, these women were not violent, they hit nobody, they threatened nobody. Uh, as the main speaker, British activist Kelly J. Keane Minchel said, they just didn't want to be blotted out as women. Try and convince people that men actually can change to women. And we might listen. Just let women speak. Well, this being Red Melbourne, as you saw, there was a protest against this protest. And these protesters were not so peaceful. Many were socialists, waving red flags and demanding the other speakers, the women, not be heard at all. Some broke through police lines to disrupt the women's rally. You are the Minister for Women and it Trans rights, f*** off! Trans rights now! Trans rights, f*** off! Oh, no. Police also complained that some of the socialist protesters punched their police horses and assaulted police. All those who were arrested were of the left. You didn't know that from the media coverage, I bet as was this woman who police dragged away. Now, this kind of thing happens far too often in Melbourne, has done for years, the far left attacking speakers and events they don't agree with. It's a public menace. But where's the condemnation? How did Melbourne get this toxic anti-freedom culture where conservatives like me can't even launch a book without being attacked by masked leftists in black, acting like fascists. But the news coverage of this protest isn't now about the menace of the Melbourne left, a menace that leaves women unable to hold a meeting on women's rights outside Parliament without heavy police protection. Can you believe that? It's not about that. Because what happened, and here comes the real disgrace, the politicians and the journalists wanting to hate these women for pushing back on the far-left trans ideology, they got their excuse. Because about 20 men, louts dressed like schoolboys in black t-shirts and shorts, looking like idiots, but claiming to be national socialists, Nazis, they turned up to protest against the protest against the protest. I told you, this is a classic Melbourne story. A protest against the protest against the protest? And for some reason, I can't understand. Police actually let these Nazis march right between the two groups, the women and the socialists, allowing them to make Heil Hitler salutes at the socialists. Now, these moronic men, so they were also against transgender politics, in fact, against all transgender people. And bingo. It was like uh, manna from heaven for the left, for the premier. Here was all the excuse they needed to smear these women protesters as Nazis as well. I mean, it's insane. The women didn't know the Nazis would be there. They didn't want them there. And they weren't Nazis themselves. And yet it didn't matter. Suddenly, these women... Isn't this a classic story, ladies? Suddenly, these women were defined by what some idiot men had done. The Premier tweeted yesterday, anti-trans activists gathered to spread hate. And on the steps of our parliament, some of them performed a Nazi salute. Now, notice what he did in that tweet. The women were written totally out of the picture as if they've got no agency. They're not even there. The, their protest for women's rights is suddenly in the media, in the Premier's tweet, become a Nazi rally, spreading hate. Now, all this would be 
bad enough, sexist enough, really. Another example of the way Premier Daniel Andrews, by the way, divides Victorians to bully people into backing him. But to make it worse, the Liberal leader, John Pesuto, he was so terrified about his party being smeared by Andrews, his master of smears, that he actually joined in damning one of his own MPs, more redeeming. She'd also spoken at the women's rally. She was actually kicked in the legs by one of the left-wing protesters. Pseudo slimed her and said she was now finished as a Liberal. I'm not here to say that people can't have different views. I'm here to say it will never be acceptable in this state, Victoria, as a member of the Liberal Party to associate with anybody who is connected with or shares platforms with Nazis, white supremacists, ethno-nationalists or whatever other odious agenda someone wishes to peddle. Look at that guy. Master at projecting strength and determination when it's as weak as custard. This is so bizarre. I'm told Pseudo actually doesn't think deeming is herself a racist, a Nazi and, and a racist and a, a fascist. He doesn't think that. She isn't. In fact, not one of the women who spoke at that women's protest is a Nazi. Not a single one. The British woman isn't. Deeming isn't. Catherine Dees was there. She isn't either. And Deeming has no idea. She had no idea that these guys who were Nazis were even going to turn up. She didn't even know they were Nazis until they started with their Heil Hitlering. She thought they were Antifa thugs. You know, black clad, masked, like the people who attacked me. She thought they were Antifa thugs, left-wingers come to attack. Now, it's true that one of the organisers has repeatedly said she is not a Nazi. I mean, they've all got to say this. You lost the argument already, don't you? She's, in fact, of Jewish descent. And it's true. She posted a badly worded tweet that John Pesuto read out on Peter's show, ooh, saying Nazis and women who want to get rid of pedophiles, why don't you? She claims out of context she was responding to someone who was sexualising children and having a go at her. I thought it read very badly. She was dumb to do that. But really, is that it? Does that make her a Nazi? She is not a Nazi. Is this the reason then that Pesuto wants to kick one of his female MPs, and he hasn't got that many, he wants to kick her out of the Liberal Party? Because here is a woman, this MP, she was standing near a Jewish speaker who isn't a Nazi, but said something that Pesuto thinks in a certain context in a light, if you turn it like this, it might look a little bit Nazi-ish. I mean, seriously? But then came the real clown show. He repeated it today. Pseudo said that main speaker, uh, that British woman, Kelly J. Kim Minchel, who isn't a Nazi, once spoke to two men who probably were. Um, she's done videos with Richard Spencer, Mark Collett, uh, Klu Klux Klan leader, David Duke. Uh, there's a lot... Where does he get his material? Key Minchel says that's absolutely false. I've never met or spoken to either of those men ever. I've got no connection with those men. It's, it's my Wikipedia. Someone's on a Wikipedia page to try and silence me, to shut me up, uh, which I just refuse to do. To make claims based on a Wikipedia page when you're supposed to be a serious politician is preposterous. What a shameful man. I've checked this. She's absolutely right. Pseudo, in kicking out a woman from the Liberal Party, relied on an entry in Wikipedia that was false. Can you believe it? Great research, guys. I mean, what this woman had actually done was talk to a presenter who once interviewed those fascists. They went to the source. You know, he was talking about footnotes. Oh, it's footnoted. I went to the footnotes, looked it up. No, uh, Wikipedia got it wrong. She talked to a presenter who once interviewed these two right-wingers. <laughs> what a joke. What next? Accusing a woman, who's not a fascist, of shaking the hand of the man who shook the hand of the man who shook the hand of Hitler. Hmm, that ought to do it. I mean, this is the nonsense that has the Liberal leader sacking a woman from the Liberal Party. How weak and stupid and unprincipled and cowardly is that? It's incredible. So let's sum up. Let's sum it up. Three protests on Saturday, all at the same event. There were the women 
There were the socialists who then tried to shut them up. And then there were the Nazis, the idiot men trying to intimidate everyone in their, in their black shorts. And because of those men, the women must be punished. The ones who were peaceful, their arguments now must be ignored. They must be slimed as Nazis. And then the socialists can all go home happy that these politicians have played into their hands in shutting down these women. What a farce. Only in Victoria.